Hey everyone, Sean from Learning Science Lab here, and we're talking about whiteboarding in Zoom and how to make the most of the technology you might already have or figure out what you want to buy. Um, so if you've ever tried to use the Zoom whiteboard or to use the draw function in PowerPoint or other kind of annotation tools, using it with your mouse just doesn't do the trick most of the time. So today we're going to be talking about how to use either of any Apple mobile device, so an iPhone or an iPad, by connecting it to your Mac computer with a cable to give you a screen to draw on. Now, just something to keep in mind that today, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do it with my iPhone. I don't have an iPad here at home, um, but the process is exactly the same as far as hooking it up. The benefit you get from the iPad is obviously you get a much larger screen, and if your iPad came with a stylus, that gives you a pen that you can write with, which is gonna be a lot more comfortable than using your finger on your iPhone screen. But just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll be showing you with my finger on my iPhone. The second thing to know is that this technique really works best if you have a Mac computer and you're connecting it to your iPhone or iPad via cable. Um, if you have a PC, this technique's not gonna work well for you. There are other pieces of software that allow you to connect your um, iPad or iPhone to your PC, but we won't be going over that in this video. Um, if you like help with getting your PC and an iPad or an iPhone um, to use during Zoom, just reach out to the Learning Science Lab or the Stern Help Desk and we could walk through a few products with you. Um, but for today, we're just going to be doing this with my iPhone on my computer and I'm actually going to show you how to do this at my workstation. So we're going to head over there next. All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to use your mobile iOS device, so either your iPhone, your iPad, your, or your iPad Pro, to create a whiteboard during your Zoom meeting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are plugged in from your phone to your computer and that's going to want to be your first step. All right. Now, once you're plugged in, you're going to go to your zoom window, which you can see I have open here and I'm going to go to share screen. And now here's where I'm going to have some choices. I have the option to do iPhone, iPhone, iPad via AirPlay, which I'm not gonna do because that requires a wireless connection, which I don't trust right now. Um, we're gonna recommend you do the iPhone, iPad via cable. Since we already plugged the cable in, this should bring up your iPhone screen. And um, you might have to hit trust this computer or trust this device when you first do it. Um, but basically all that does is now what is on your iPhone screen is exactly what is on your computer. And because there is this green bar around it here, you know students and all the other participants of the meeting are seeing exactly what's on your iPhone. So now your option is what do you want to use to draw with to share with your students. Now I'm going to start off by just showing you how to use the Notes app which is already an application on your phone or on your tablet. So I'm gonna hit the Notes app, and then we're gonna go ahead in the bottom right corner, hit New Note. Now, once I have this note, um, if you're using a, uh, your iPad or your phone, you probably want to change it to the widest landscape view. And now you're gonna to wanna to hit the Draw button. It looks like a marker with a circle around it. And now I have all these great pens that I can work with. I can choose a, if I hold it and let go, you'll see I get to do the, the kind of pen size and darkness. Um, and you can also use this on the right to choose color. So it's really easy to do quick notes that you can share with your students. You can also, if you wanna use the marker tool or the highlighter, to change color and it gives you a slightly see-through thing you can use to mark up with color as well. So it's a really nice tool. If you feel like you need more space on your canvas, you can hit done in the top right and you can scroll, have more space, hit the marker again. Um, and now you can start drawing in a new space. Whoops, I'm gonna hit that marker again. And once again, if you need more space, you can hit done and you could scroll down and start annotating again. You could also use the new note button in the bottom right hand corner if you just wanna start a totally new note and don't wanna keep scrolling. 
And now you have this fresh canvas to work with and you can easily, this is not a real equation that means anything. I just made it up right now, but you'll see it, this, these tools make it very easy to pinpoint things you want to pinpoint, quickly change colors, annotate. You can do a lot with just this simple tool. Now we're going to go back to my screen because I want to show you how to use PowerPoint. I know a lot of you probably already have um, presentations in PowerPoint. So if you download the PowerPoint app from the Apple App Store um, and you create a free account using your NYU um, email address, you can get, let's just go back here to the beginning. Um, we'll cancel that. You'll see what I have here is a basic PowerPoint interface, right? Now, if I want, I can load up a presentation that I already had um, by sharing it with myself via email and opening it on my iPhone. Um, or I can create blank presentations right here from the iPhone interface. Again, I'm gonna turn it sideways just so I have a little bit more room here. Um, I'm gonna create some new slides using this plus button here. So we have a couple of pages to work with. And I'm gonna put it on the first slide and then just hit play on the top right, like I'm gonna run this presentation. And now you'll see I have these two tools here, a pen and a pen settings. If I go to pen settings, you can see, let's say right now I want a red marker um, and I can mark up my canvas. Now, if there's already content on your slide, let's just skip to the next slide here by going back Oops, we're gonna discard that annotation, start the presentation over again. Um, if there's already content on your slide that you wanna use, you can choose whatever tool you want, whether it be the highlighter, and you can highlight, you can annotate, and you can pretty much run through your slides with having a marker at your disposal. Really, really powerful tool to use during your presentations. Now there might be some other applications if you wanna get much fancier. Um, there's one called Sketchbook by Autodesk, which um, allows you all kinds of interesting drawing tools and pens. So if you want to um, be more artistic or um, for some reason do some more complex visualizing, there's lots of tools that you can use at your disposal. But I think most people are going to want to use the Notes app and the PowerPoint app and maybe some third app that they really like for note taking. Now you'll notice um, I, what I still have on my screen, you can see it uh, here. I'll make this a little bit closer for you so you can see a bit better. Um, you'll notice that I still have this menu up here that I can use um, while I'm screen sharing. So if I don't wanna share my iPhone anymore, I can always go to new share and then just go back to sharing my desktop. And if I do that, um, now we're just back to the environment that we started in. If I want to go back to my phone, I'll just choose new share and choose my iPhone, iPad via cable, hit the share button. Then I just need to make sure my phone's plugged in and unlock it. And I'm back to my iPhone interface. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, please feel free to reach out to the Learning Science Lab for questions and maybe happy to get you up and running. Thanks.